<laughs> Hi, I'm Matt. And I'm not Tom. And this is the park bench. And today I have with me, while Tom is away in the Arctic frolicking with astronauts, Jay Foreman. Hello. You may know him as comedian, singer, documentarist. Do you like that? Does that is work? That, is that a title? I, I'm, I'm trying to give you it as a title. I'll, I'll take it. Okay. Yay! <laughs> comedian, like hyphen with, between each of those words. Comedian, singer, documentarist. Put it on your card. Okay. Put it on your poster. All Put right. it on your CDs. <laughs> so, um, you, if you haven't come across Jay before, you have a YouTube. I the do. links up there, down there, everywhere that links normally go on the YouTube. Um, on your YouTube, you have your songs. You've done a couple of documentary series. What have you got recently? Well, what it is, my YouTube, my YouTube channel is a disparate collection of all the different videos I've done. Some of them are live clips from my live gigs that I do, where I play my songs. Some of them are funny videos that I've made on my own, which are sort of like funny documentaries. And most recently, there are some funny documentary videos that I've done with TV's Mark Cooper Jones. And there's probably a link to him in one of the directions I'm pointing in. <laughs> all about maps. Map Men. Map Men is the name of the show. Uh, if you haven't seen that, go watch it. Was it six of them? There now? are six, yes. Very good. Very funny. Oh, thank very you. educational. Oh, thank you. I like the, the, uh, the end of one of them is a little in joke that I noticed. There uh, is. There's a diddly 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 diddly. Oh, you mean? Do you know, I was, funnily enough, this was only just in the last two minutes. I was reading, and you can check my Twitter if you, because I, I just retweeted this. Um, uh, apparently, the song Maps by the Yeah Yeah Yeahs, which is the song which that ends the, with, the, sorry, begins with, uh, is supposedly one of the most influential songs ever of the last 20 years, even though it didn't make much of an impact in the charts. Really? Well, I was about to read more information. I was about to find it, because I love that song. And I was about to read more of the article and find out why it's so influential. <laughs> And then I realised that I'd left you alone in the room for a couple of minutes. And so I put my phone away and I came back. I'm on the... Do you know, I can go weeks without thinking about that song. And suddenly I've just thought of it twice. By the time this goes out, I'll have finished reading the article. That was the next thing I was going to do after this. And you know, I might discover something on there that... Actually, this is terribly written. This isn't true at all. And it's slightly racist. The last thing I want to do is promote that article. And but if the I'm... article is promotable and isn't terrible, we can link it, if you remember to send me a link. Well, we've spoken about it for a good minute now, yeah. so we sort of have to. I really hope it's good, and I really hope it's accurate, so here we go. Anyway, that, you used that as a little joke at the end of the one of them, because it's called Maps, and you just get the dilly 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 dilly. So, uh, the uh, Map Men um, has a different piece of music at the end of each episode. And uh, for that first one, we decided to use the song called Maps, which is a nice little joke that, so far, only you have noticed. <laughs> Actually, no, that's not true. Some, someone no, no, left a comment on the YouTube box. And my favorite one, by the way, uh, you might know that I uploaded a video a couple of years ago, which was a song containing every single London Underground station. Oh, yeah, yeah. And the YouTube commenter's favorite thing to do is to say, ah, you missed out Bromley by Bow, or you missed out Edgware. It's, like, it's a different one every time that they suggest a station we miss. And so I keep on, well, I used to get really involved and I keep on replying and saying, no, we checked. It's we, a four minutes thirty two. We wouldn't have put this song on unless we'd really checked that we didn't miss any, but that won't stop them. And so what I then did, and this was a lot of fun, um, I can now reveal, uh, I uploaded another version of the song, which is a live version, which is slightly different because it's in front of an audience, there's yeah. a bit more uh, talking in between. And in that version, uh, in the description on the video, I said, <laughs> We left out one station by mistake. Can you guess what it is? And did you? No. <laughs> They're all in there as well. We used you and your talents at the Citation Needed Live gig that we did yes. a few weeks ago. Thank you for coming if you came. If you didn't, then that's also fine. Uh, you were our warm-up act. I was. Uh, it was a and you guys hall. cooled down for me. <laughs> <laughs> no, it, oh. it, it was a lovely gig, and there were lovely people there, and uh, I finally got to see uh, the show Citation Needed from the back. Oh yes! Because the, the... the nature of the venue, once I've been on, there's no way for me, without causing some disruption, to then go out into the audience and watch the show. So I was behind the curtain listening in. Yes, because you're stuck behind the curtain backstage, which is literally backstage and there's no way out. <laughs> the funny thing about that venue, uh, for those of you that were there, you might have seen that you don't walk on from the side like in most theatres or performance spaces. Like you open a door 
that goes directly from the green room to the middle of the stage. It's like something from a panto or it's a musical. Brilliant. Yeah. <laughs> Make your entrance. <laughs> it's great. So entering is amazing because you enter with immediate impact and you open the door and hello, I'm here. And then you start playing. It's wonderful. But then leaving is super awkward, especially because the door looks like it should go in, but it goes out. It's a fight. Yeah. <laughs> I think all both you and we had the oh opened the door the wrong way. It's problem. even worse for you guys because there are four of you. So you then got to sort of argue over which one goes through the door first, <laughs> and then, and then whoever's at the, the back door. has to sort of like awkwardly shuffle forward and wave. <laughs> I remember the first time I saw you play your songs. Actually, you do? Yes. Uh, there when? was an annual charity gig, inventively named Woodstock at E and E. Ah yes. Uh, and I think I remember seeing you on the stage of that. I remember it. I'm going to reminisce about it now. May, may I make a request for one I remember liking so many years ago? Go on then. Spirogram? Ha! <laughs> I've not played this in a very long time. Um, so, right, so, but, so you need a minute to prepare? No, no. But you, you can can't bring on a guitar without now, normally, playing it. <laughs> now, this is, um, this is a song that I used to sing with uh, my partner in crime, Phil. God rest his soul. Uh, he's not dead. But um, <laughs> he, he lives in Lincolnshire and we don't get to see each other very often. Same so difference. you're going to have to replace Phil. Okay. In the same way that I'm replacing Tom, you replace Phil and you sing the other half of Spirograph. And I'm confident that you remember how it goes. All right. <clears throat> Round and around and around and around Round and around 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 Spirograph Thank you very much. <laughs> now you know what, let's do a charity handshake. Do you know a charity handshake? No. I need to put this out of the way for now. A charity handshake involves <laughs> a shoulder and we both look at the camera like this. So... Uh, <laughs> so it's either a charity or a sort of um, a peace talk where we're presidents of our respective countries. Yes. I can't think of anyone else that's used other than those two. But... No, because in, in a normal business meeting, when you shake someone's hand, <laughs> you only need the two hands, you look them in the eye. <laughs> but if it's uh, two presidents, for example, it'd be like this. Like and a, then if and it's it a charity strained. Then, then you've got no hands left for the big novelty check. That's a third person. <laughs> someone <laughs> around the back who presents the novelty check. <laughs> now. Now. We tweeted. We did. Shall I have a look at my Twitter? Yes. I'm doing a park bench video with at unnamed culprit. Why are you called unnamed culprit, by the way? Random word generator. Right. Teenage years. It's Repla never taken. Never Replacing taken. Tom Scott, God rest his soul, what should we talk about slash do? And uh, the answers that you guys have given, well, I'm only going to pick good ones here. So. <laughs> oh, I also asked um, for TV theme tunes because they're my favorite. Now, there's a reason for this. And this is because I'm sat next to a very talented man. Oh, you. Shall I pick? You, you pick you, for well, me. If, if you pick Firstly, one... are you perfect pitch? Because you seem, and if, you, if we name a song that you know, you seem to be able to just play it. Uh, I, yes, I, I do have perfect pitch. It's a superpower that apparently only one in a thousand people have. Ooh. Yeah. I mean, it's useless apart from this sort of thing. Let's put this into practice. So you give me a TV theme tune that it's likely I might not have played before, and then I will try to play it and... Um, from thence the fun shall arise. Okay, uh, Bodger and Badger. Everybody knows. Da, 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 never fire away. Bodger and Badger. Bodger and Badger. La, 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 <laughs> Let's see if there's anything more. Uh, Ducktails? I can't remember how it goes. Life feels like a hurricane in the duck world. Does that something aeroplanes in a duck world? It's all the mystery. Are we right history? Ducktails. <laughs> <laughs> Woo. No, I feel like what we should do is um, add an extra element to the theme tune. So it's okay. all very well saying, can you play the theme tune and, and then I, I play it, but there needs to be something else that we do. Okay, what is this else? What, what other talents have you got hidden inside that noggin? I wonder if I might try, there's a trick I used to do on stage. Uh, I haven't done it in a while, but basically what I do is uh, I sing a song where the lyrics are delayed behind the melody by one syllable. 
So to explain, you do this so before. to explain, so basically, if you take a song like, um, you know, the song that goes, no, a deer, a female deer, ray, a drop of golden sun, that yeah. song, right? So imagine that, but instead of uh, starting with the word do, you start with the words do do, and the rest of it goes out of sync, and it then sounds like this: do do a deer a female deer ray a drop of golden. Sun, me a name I call myself Far a long, long way to Sing along! Run, so a needle pulling Thread, learn a to follow So, tea a drink with jam and And so on and so on That so, is a hell of a... Do you have perfect <laughs> rhythm? <laughs> no. The, right, so the way to do that trick is to basically play the song in your head twice. Half of me is listening to the melody and what to do with my fingers the other half is listening to the words, and I don't know how it will sound until it comes out. So it's very difficult for me to concentrate on a third thing while I'm doing that. Kind of like what computers do. But you still have two things, whereas I think I've only got one thing. <laughs> well, try another one. So for this to work, it has to be a song that I'm extremely familiar with. It doesn't have to be simple, but I just have to know it very well. Okay. So this, this will be a case of trial and error. Uh, I'm going to suggest one. All right. It might be too hard. Look, if, if, I mean, it might work. So go on then. Aha, take on me. Take, take on me, take on me, take me on, take on me. I'll be good in an day so needless to <laughs> say. The trouble with that song. <laughs> If you apply the syllables trick to it, it actually makes more sense grammatically. I suppose it, yeah. <laughs> right, shall I go for Twitter for some more? Yeah, go on. Chuckle vision? There's hardly any words. No, though. there's no words to that. Chuckle vision, chuckle vision, chuckle vision, chuckle vision. These are some very British references to so for those of you that aren't watching this in Britain. Oh, that's true. Luck. Oh, yeah. Uh, so, in America, if you don't know what Chuckle Vision is, <laughs> off you go to YouTube. We've mentioned we'll the Chuckle Brothers before. We'll see you in an hour. Before. Oh, that's great. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, da, 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 da. Aqua Barbie Girl. Um. I'm, I'm, a, I'm, I'm a Barbie girl in a Barbie. World life in plastic life is fantastic in camera. Oh, no, I've gone wrong. Life in plastic, not life is in plastic. Life, life in plastic, it's fantastic. You can brush my hair on just me and me. We're imagination, life is your creation. Um, <laughs> Shin, come on, Barbie, let's go. Party, ha, ha, yeah. <laughs> I feel like I should sing along, but no. <laughs> no. <laughs> I've not done that one before. <laughs> Uh, teenage Mutant Hero Turtles. Te teenage Mutant Hero Turtles. Teenage Mutant Hero Turtles. Teenage Mutant Hero Turtles. Tall zeros in a half. Shell turtle. Power. <laughs> <laughs> also, uh, for non Brits watching, uh, when we grew up, it was called the Teenage Mutant Hero Turtles. I, I think that worked out. Some of it. Some of it did. <laughs> we might do a bit more later. Um, so, we have reached the part in the bench where I will ask you what you would like to plug. Would you like to plug anything? I would like to plug my YouTube channel, which is my name. YouTube so channel? what you do is you click... Which direction shall I point in? Uh, that way. Is it over there? That way. Unless you're on mobile, then it's that way. Right. So, mobile's down there, desktop up there. Um, watch my channel, uh, Jay Foreman, which is my name. Uh, what it is, is it's all of my most recent videos, including Map Men which is a series all about maps and how maps can be very funny and entertaining. And, and um, it it's got me and it's also got TV's Mark Cooper Jones, who is uh, like me, he's a comedian who finds maps hilarious and brilliant. So uh, there's that. There's also a series I did not too long ago called Politics Unboring, which you'll find on the same channel. So if you, uh, you want to get involved in politics, but you don't understand how it works and you don't know uh, what does the prime minister actually do, who does the, cov uh, who does the government, uh, government, how Home Secretary that is, uh, Cabinet reshuffle, Opposition, Right Honourable, what, then Politics Unboring explains all of that. And I assume that's going to be in your... I say, I assume, I've watched them a while ago when they came out, and... They've gone hideously out of date already. <laughs> have they? Yeah. So in the, in the opening title sequence, uh, we have uh, four influential political faces appear. They've all resigned. <laughs> 
So we tried to have a face from each political party, and they, they've all resigned in, in a space of just, you know, not long. I'm just thinking that means songs must go out of date as well. I'm just thinking of one. Uh, oh, it was from back in the uni days. Uh, Procrastinator. Yeah, I thought you were going to do that one. Uh, so, right, so the, I had a song from a very long time ago called The Procrastinator. And uh, the chorus was basically, I am the procrastinator, make way for me. I will do everything eventually. But first I'll... And then it goes on to explain, it, it's really interesting to look at that song's lyrics now, because what it is, is a description of what people used to do, students mainly, what they used to do in about 2005, before smartphones. I had to listen to this. Like, I had a quick flick through your discography that I have. Yeah. Yeah, so I've been going through my file. <laughs> and I came across this, and I was thinking, the majority of people these days, because since smartphone will have yeah, if, no if Basically, idea. if I was writing that song today, if I was doing the song The Procrastinator in 2016, the lyrics would be like this. I will do everything eventually, but first I'll look at my phone. My favourite thing is that there is an entire section in there about MSN Messenger. Yeah. Like, like maybe half the track is about, M like, hilarious at the t for the time. It made sense at the time, yeah. but no one knows what MSN now, Messenger is anymore. It's I'll play some, uh, we are currently experiencing technical difficulties. <laughs> music. I almost crossing my legs. Uh, or should I not cross mine? <laughs> no, you can sit however the hell you want. I just don't want to cross my oh, legs right now. thank you. Is it because it looks weird if we're both crossing our legs? Mirroring. I'll tell you what looks good. If we both move our legs at exactly the same time. Right, watch this. See? 